Hello guys, welcome back again to my channel DP Design and in this video we are going to learn a very unique thing or you can say a unique type of simulation we are performing right now. So as we have seen our thumbnail, what it is written, it is actually saying that if you have done the CFD on the turbocharger, then if you want to take that output as an input of the FEA so that you can do the product testing, you can do the FATIC simulation, you can do the frequency or model analysis, whatever you want to perform, you can perform in FEA. But how to do that? As you can see, we have this model, uh, this turbocharger model. This turbocharger model we are selling right now and you can buy from us. You can DM us on Instagram or you can DM us on our mail as well. You can request for this CAD model and we are offering the, offering the discount for the students only. For the industry professional, it is, there, is, there will be no discount. So let's get started with the basics how we have done the CFD what kind of uh, a procedure we have to follow for uh, combining the CFD and FEA results so let's get started so as you can see we have applied the rotating regions over here this one which is uh, having the value in the radian per second and we have an inlet mass flow which we have calculated already and we have our environment pressure. So you want to perform the FEA simulation on that by the fluid pressure, whatever is coming the flow and going through the your housings. So that you have to perform that it is actually uh, having the uh, good life or not with the fatigue testing or a static simulation you want to perform. So we have calculated our CFD result. As you can see, we have uh, done the solving process, which is our is telling that uh, solver has been finished now and log is here. Yes. So my goals are has been converged and calculation has been finished. And as you can see, we have done one uh, trajectory as well. Now, if you go to this, then you can go to the project directory. These are our CFD results, which we have already calculated. You can select the, any parameters to calculate and whatever the directories where the uh, results are going to be saved, you can open that directory by selecting on the, on the projects, which, which is our 200 name and you can do the open project directory here. As you can see, my path has been displayed over here and as you can see fld file is there my job file is there std out is there and back file is also there and date file is also there yeah so now my goals has been converged and also goal data file is there for the this uh yeah now what does it mean if you are going to perform and perform an fea simulation what it will tell uh, let's go to into the uh, static simulation then we can understand what it requires actually so we are going to new study and we will select the static simulation for now so as you can see there is a convert toolbox fastener to bolt connectors yeah we have already applied the bolt connectors in the assembly so it is asking that uh, if you want to convert or not i am or uh, checking I'm not checking the uh, boxes over here and naming it as a turbo static now I will hide this or top down or something okay hide I will hide this uh, rotating region and I will hide this one. And if you want to go, if you want to perform a CFD simulation, we have uploaded uh, one video on that, which is a 30 minutes long and 
having a good technical information about the turbocharger boundary condition and post processing as well so you can go through our channel and you can find that video and yes at the end of the video we will attach that link as well so you can go through that now if you want to perform an analysis or FE FEA simulation you can say on on this one so what you can do this is our uh, turbocharger wheel as name named is a turbocharger wheel for now now as you can see my boundary condition okay my boundary condition okay and post processing results are here so if you want to take this post processing result into the fea input as an fea boundary condition so how you can perform you don't know the forces so if you want to uh, calculate the forces into cfd and applying over here let's say uh, pressure you want to apply on this one so how much you are accurately know that this forces will act in this direction or this direction how do you know that so that's why we prefer the importing our cfd process result as an input for fea file as you can see now we will go to the external load advisor in which parameter you can find the flow effects so if you go to the flow effect there are several options are there so also you can select your solvers of your static simulation this is manual there are three type, uh, more solvers it will be there direct spark large problems and indirect sparse and ffe plus right so we don't select that there are many uh, advantages of uh, this one so we will upload a separate video on the this fea simulation and also adaptive h adaptive or pre adaptive okay we don't have to select that for now there are some methods of h h and p so you can go through we will upload a separate video now if you want uh, yes you can uh, import your uh, thermal study as well but for now we have to import our cfd output so where you can go you can go from a temperature if you want the temperature as an input so you can go through the temperature tick over here and mark your directory and locate your file fld file will be there so for now i don't want to apply the temperature for now so i will do the input temperature and fluid pressure option yes include fluid pressure effects from the solidworks flow simulation so what you can do you can just uh, locate the file so if you don't know file you can copy that uh, directory location and paste it over here then you will find your fld file so as you can see there is only file which is available to locate so this is the file we have located you can open and yes you can see flow iteration number 138 okay so if you select the different what it tells invalid file right so this is the correct file for our input for fea okay i will click it here and also if you want to run a very long simulation with a very high fine mesh so what you can do you can just click on email and you can type your email and send the notification whenever it gets completed right if you want to uh, add any remark in the report so you can click it over here for now we will click it ok so whenever click ok whenever you click the ok there will be some inputs are there right if you edit this then this feature will come this box will come now the shear stress has been applied in x y and z direction and also fluid pressure is there so what you can do you can just go through this is my part i will make it in a new folder say now i will exclude this part So 
upload this will be upload my leads are not set okay explode in the part this part this two solid body which is a rotating region not necessary uh, for now we have this part or you can say the geometry set now we will apply a fixture something here and see if you want to apply the material as well or whatever your up material is applying and you can create the mesh and run the study okay my cfd result for my fea result is running okay now as you can see whatever cfd input i have given like input mass flow and second second one was the environmental pressure i have just given for the uh, like testing only not accurate results were there and no calculation has been done for that i am just uh, giving the example due to the fluid pressure or due to the shear stress in the fluid this results are coming like the stress is generated due to that so that cfd output works as the fea input right so this is how you can check so if you have an accurate cfd input and accurate cfd output so you will get the better result in the fea simulation so that is the clear idea about the combining both into together the cfd plus fea can be done same thing you can do in ANSYS, you can do in a star ccm plus as well and also the abacus has the ability to do that right so that's all for a video and if you like it then like share and subscribe thank you keep learning keep sharing thank you so much